Every time they walk on the field right now, they know they're going to win. And who cares if you're not at your best? Mm -hmm. It's all about not losing now because of the invincible thing, but they think they're going to win every minute of every single game. So, again, let's not, let's not forget how great this side is. It is absolutely fantastic. And I think the only thing we can do is try and give other teams a little bit of a little bit of something to grab onto why they might actually beat this team. Like, you know, you know you're in a good place when the most critical thing anybody can say about you is, well, for 15 minutes there. Ah. <laughs> but there was a, there's no coincidence that their performance dropped when Mane went off. Yes. How much of a concern is that going forward in that we saw Klopp try two or three different tactical formations to try and address it, and none of them particularly worked that well? Well, I think, I think from Klopp's point of view, he'll be sitting... Number one going, well, you know what, we won the game. Yep. And, and I tried to play with two up front, and the setup didn't work at all. So you know what? I'm not going to do that again. I know they were playing against a good side, but if he knows that isn't going to work, then he has to be brave. Because he's brave playing three up front anyway. He has to be brave and keep it at three. Because it completely knocks them out. You talked about an oiled machine. Well, when you go from 4-3-3 to 4-4-2, you're playing a different game. When you've got three up front, as Liverpool do, they don't even look and they don't even think twice. They get balls forward early. And you can do that with three up front. You can't do that with two. And so they end up, Alexander-Arnold in particular, when he's playing balls forwards, ends up between two stools. He's not sure where to put it in behind. He, he, he's not used to trying to pick out somebody's feet particularly. So why did he bring on Minamino and not Origi? When I don't know. Um, maybe he's trying to figure out how's this guy going to help us. You know, this is a winning side. You can do that when you've got a team like this. This is the perfect scenario uh, or the perfect time of the year to be just, let me see what he can do. I know what Origi can do. Let me see what Minamino can do. Is and I guess and I guess he's not doing the front, he's not, he doesn't think he's in the front three. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gone back to two up front. Here's the thing, as we said, we're not quite sure how bad Manny's injury is or how long he will be off for. But I'm just looking at Liverpool's upcoming fixtures. West Ham, Southampton, Norwich. We've got Atletico Madrid a couple of times in the Champions League. You've got West Ham again, Watford, Bournemouth, before you play Everton, March 14th. Even without Manny. You think they can still win the league? <laughs> well, <laughs> I think it's still possible, Jeff. Yeah. I mean, two games against West Ham. <laughs> That'll be, that, that'll be the deciders right there. I'm sorry, Shaq. They could play Manchester City three, four weeks in a row and it doesn't really matter. They could lose all those games just and it doesn't saying, really matter. I'm just saying. Twice. Do you think I could play in this Liverpool team and they'd still Oh, win? goodness. No, I've, I've seen it, you. I've seen you. 4-3-3 or 4-4-2. I've, I've seen you <laughs> run in a straight line and it is, it is <laughs> off-putting. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.